I am Dr. Kokon Kumar Dotto. My Christian name is Dr. David Moon. I am working as assistant professor in the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology in Bangabundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman Science and Technology University in Gopal Gans, Bangladesh. The title of my discussion is Tick Snip or TBP2 or VDEP1 and Warburg Effect in Cancers. Professor Dr. Otto Henrys Warburg was a German biochemist, physiologist, medical doctor, and Nobel laureate. In 1931, he was awarded Nobel Prize in Physiology for his discovery of the nature and mode of action of the respiratory enzyme. Dr. Otto Hendrix Orbuch investigated the metabolism of tumors and the respiration of cells, particularly cancer cells. One of his famous observations was the extremely high level of lactate production in the tumor and cancer cells. It is mentioned here that the end product of glycolysis is pyruvate. Glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm of a cell. Then pyruvate is metabolized in the mitochondria for the production of usable energy, ATP, for the cells. But in anaerobic condition, pyruvate is converted to lactate in normal cells. In tumor and cancer cells, high levels of lactate are produced even in the presence of sufficient oxygen. Dr. Otto Heinrichs Orbuk tried to explain the observation in a way while low mitochondrial respiration or respiratory damage in the mitochondria or respiratory impairment contributes in the high lactic production in tumor and cancer cells. He tried to introduce this respiratory damages or impairment as the common driving process in the carcinogenic process for almost all cancer types, which is known as Warburg effect in cancer biology. Warburg effect is well known and widely discussed and investigated even today by all the researchers and scientists related to cancer biology throughout the world. Previously, lactate was known only as the metabolic end product. But increasingly, it is evident now that lactate is related to diverse type of functions in tumors and in cancers and in the regulations of different pathophysiological aspects in the body of a cancer patient. Lactate is now known to be involved in the epigenetic regulation of cancer epigenetic regulation of gene expression. Lactylation of histone proteins in the lysine residues plays important roles in the regulation of gene expression including the oncogenes. Lactate was once believed as the metabolic waste but it is now known that lactic is used as an important fuel for energy production and even can be used in by the Krebs cycle. Lactic plays important roles in almost all the steps of 
carcinogenesis, palm tumor formation to metastasis. Lactic plays important roles in the tumor and cancer microenvironments. Lactate is now known to play important roles in the modulation of immunity. Immune cells impretation is almost always found within the tumors and cancers. But lactate suppresses the immunity inside the tumors and cancers. Lactate helps the immune evasion process for cancer cells. Lactate acts as negative regulator for both innate and adaptive immunity. Lactic acid affects the intracellular and extracellular pH, which is an important regulator of cancer's growth. Lactate is also known to be involved with other functions too. Lactic plays important roles in the angiogenesis, wound healing, and in other regenerative processes, memory formation, and others. Rapid growth and proliferation is characteristics of early and brownie development. The presence of high lactate is found in early embryos. High lactate also works as an important factor for the stem cells, which show a similar growth pattern like cancer cells or cancer stem cells. At present, a huge research reports are seen to find out the explanation of Weyerbrug effect in the genomic and molecular levels. Any permanent blockages in the respiratory process in the mitochondria may be capable to result the Weyerbrug effect in cancer cells. But permanent blockages may not be an obligatory or essential choice in these cases. Because muscle cells in the human body are capable to shift metabolic mood from aerobic and anaerobic glycolysis depending on the conditions they experience. So it should be likely that there may exist some mechanisms in the cancer cells capable to change the metabolic mode in a reversible manner even though the reversible practices are not used by the tumor and cancer cells. At present, some mechanisms which regulate the Erbrug effect in cancer cells have been discovered. Thioredoxin interacting protein or TICSNIP is a well-known inhibitor of cellular glucose uptake and works as a tumor suppressor for various types of human cancers. It is also known as thioredoxin binding protein 2 or TBP2. And vitamin D3 upregulated protein 1 or BDEP1. Kokon K. Dukta et al. from the School of Medicine, Kyoto University, Japan, reported for the first time that TICSNI or TBP2 or VDEP1 acts as tumor suppressor in vivo. We did our experiments in an oxidative stress induced cancer model of rats. This was the first experiment with TICSNIP or TBP2 or BDEP1 in any animal model of cancers internationally. We focused on renal cancers. We reported that reduced expression of TICSNIP or TBP2 or BDEP1 is essentially needed for cancer's growth and proliferation in the rat kidney. We logically proposed in the discussion section 
that reduce ticks them or TBP2 or BDEP1 expression may facilitate the glycolysis in cancers, which means that tick snip or TBP2 or BDEP1 may work in the regulation of oil group effect in cancer cells. Our group in Japan published a research in April 2005 in the pathology section of Nature laboratory investigation with the title Two Distinct Mechanisms for Loss of Thyroid Oxygen Binding Protein 2 in Oxidative Stress-Induced Renal Carcinogenesis. We also demanded the possibility of the involvement of both TICSNIP or TBP2 or BDEP1 and microRNA 34A in the regulation of oil group effect in the discussion section of another article published in December 2007 in Cancer Science with the title Association of microRNA 34A Overexpression with Proliferation is cell type dependent. Monik Kanha de Padua et al. published an article in October 2017 in the Journal of Onco Target with the title Disrupting Glucose 6 Phosphate Isomerase Fully Suppresses the Warburg Effect and Activates. Oxidative phosphorylation with minimal impact on tumor growth except in hypoxia. Glucose 6 phosphate isomerase GPI catalyzes the conversion between glucose 6 phosphate and fructose 6 phosphate. They found that glucose 6 phosphate isomerase knockout. GPI knockout elevates the fermentative glycolytic plaques in both normoxia and hypoxia. They also found that glucose 6 phosphate isomerase knockout, GPI knockout, in LS 174T and B16 cancer cell lines induces the expression of thyroidoxin interacting protein or TICSNIP. This finding proves our hypothesis that the absence or the reduced expression of TICSNIP or TBP2 or BDEP1 facilitates the oil group effects in cancers. Finally, I would like to wish happy, prosperous and dignified life for you everybody. Thank you everybody.